as the gunfire rang out last October 27th, Rabbi Jeffrey Myers of the Tree of Life found himself faced with the toughest decision of his life, one that he had to make in a split second, run to help save his congregants or run to save his own life. The rabbi yelled out to his congregants, but only a few made it out the back door in time. Then Myers barricaded himself in a bathroom. It's a choice, he says, that will haunt him for the rest of his life. Here's Megan Schiller. It's the image seen around the world. Rabbi Myers running away from the synagogue, his hand on his head, and a Pittsburgh police officer gun drawn. I had the chance to talk to Rabbi Myers his first time back to the synagogue. And now, one year later, he reflects on what has changed. I was on the phone with 911 for about 20 minutes, which seemed like an eternity. Um, I'm really not sure how long I was there until um, um, the um, SWAT team extricated me from the building because the active shooter was still in the building. Now, one year later, he fights through each new day for the 11 lost. Well, I'm standing, so I think that's pretty good testimony uh, amongst all these lights here that I'm doing okay. It's a challenge day by day. Uh, there's no easy answer to that because I live it every hour of every day um, because there's no escaping it. So I've embraced uh, what apparently my mission is and I move forward with it day to day to take care of myself and to take care of my congregation and to see that uh, 11 people have not died in vain. Rabbi Myers talked with reporters late last month in the days leading up to the high holidays, adamant that he will keep working through his grief and helping his congregation find strength. Each of us finds the strength and the courage to integrate what happened into our beings, to move forward. Um, I refuse to let the perpetrator make me another full-time victim. I won't let it happen. I refuse. 11 or 11 too many. Uh, there will not be a 12, as far as I'm concerned. His struggle with survivor's guilt continues to evolve. Initially, I did have, um, but I've processed it to the extent that I recognize there wasn't anything I could do. Um, even with the training I took um, with Brett Orsini through Federation, there's a limit to what uh, any human being is capable of. And, um, I've come to recognize I did the best I could. Um, had I perhaps attempted more, um, I probably wouldn't be standing here. As a survivor, he's now shifted his life's mission to become a strong voice for the 11. You very strongly said you will not allow yourself to become another victim. Were you always this feisty? I've never been called feisty. Thank you. Um, I guess the feistiness you see in me is that, that um, uh, renewed energy and vigor and faith that I have uh, to soldier onward um, to do the best that I can to make the world a better place. Making him the very definition of the word feisty lively, determined, and courageous. In Squirrel Hill, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News. From the first call to 911. To the suspect's surrender. Up next, tracing the timeline when Remember, Repair, Together continues.